welcome back to the show, everyone. In today's episode, let's see if we could just kill everyone else. We're gonna end up with, like, no one left. No, we, we need at least one person to live. I, I wanna don't, see how this goes. I don't think we're gonna end up with anyone left. I want Laura to live. <laughs> we left, we're gonna have Laura and Ryan and Jacob left. Wow. That's what we have, Allie. Can I trade Jacob for somebody else? <laughs> no, they're all dead. <laughs> so what exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people, and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her uh -oh. little baby boy. Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh, shit. It's a long story. No, it's not. Uh -oh. There was a fire. Silas the wolf boy escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Burn. Rude. What happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. A werewolf. Against is a feral boy turned werewolf. For the last six years, has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Ho oh, oh. ho. Every full moon, we were out there looking. Every single one. God, that's what they've been doing. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. So how do you even know where he is? Oh. How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the um. Oh, God. Is that one actually him? Oh, Nick's still alive. Get ready. Ugh. Uh, What's happening? Take the wheel or grab the gun? Uh, wow. No one's driving this car, Allie. Oh, okay. I thought he was, like, unconscious. No. He's on the roof. I can't reach the gun. Forget that. Shit. Forget it. Take cover or grab gun. She said she can't reach it. Okay. She specifically said she couldn't reach it. She's gonna die from that choice. Is she? Great, her head's gonna get ripped off. Fuck. Wait, I think she'll be okay. You ready? You missed. No, I hit it! You missed. Oh, I guess she should have grabbed the wheel. Oh. Well, well? I think she's gonna die still. Great, I just killed everybody. <laughs> Did you hit it too late? Maybe. I did hit it, though. Okay. <sighs> I feel like we're gonna get the worst possible ending, because, like, now how are they gonna get there? He's the only one who knew where they were going. Oh, and if that werewolf didn't leave, I don't know how they're gonna survive this. Why was Ryan asleep through that whole thing? He probably got knocked unconscious. Press X rapidly. All right, it's gonna have you shoot, probably. Yep, up, up. There we go. That oh, one was probably God. Nick, if I had to guess. Or did that one not have silver bullets? No, he had a gun with silver bullets. Did she die anyway? What the heck? The white wolf? Oh, I think you did get the Silas. But I think everyone died, except Jacob, the guy who caused all this. Is Laura dead? Is Ryan dead? I think Laura and Ryan died in the car crash, even though she got the final shot in before she died. I legitimately think- and Brenda Song's gonna freeze. I legitimately think we just ended the game just now with only Jacob alive. <laughs> what an ending. You think you have it all figured out. Oh. I bet you think you're fucking clever. Yep, she didn't like us the whole time. You. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Not she doesn't now. like that we killed them. This. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. Oh. I've been with you all night. And I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Oh. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. 
now I will never leave you. Oh, we have, Nick is probably still alive too, because he's probably the werewolf under the car. Unless that was Caleb. But I assume Caleb was the one that was in the cage in the house. So we may have ended with just Jacob and Nick alive. Oh, chapter 10. Is chapter 10 just the epilogue? Look at In which everyone's dead? Nice. Look at, listen to this pleasant music. Everyone's dead, Allie. We killed everyone. We didn't kill Nick and Jacob. Actually, you know what? I think that leaves my original statement correct from the first episode. We did it. We successfully killed everyone Stop. but two people. Stop. It, the, it, it's, it's poetic. We ended just like I ended until dawn. Only two people are alive. <gasps> Emma deceased. Yep. We knew that. Emma fell to her death when she failed to grab the zip line. Yeah, Brenda Song's dead. I want to play this again. Bobby Hackett. Uninjured, Bobby was able to f fend off an attack from Chris, his brother, in werewolf form. He's a strong man. Thanks to Bobby fending off werewolf Chris, Jed survived the attack at Hackett House. He survived? His Chris Hackett dead. Chris was killed from his favorite counselor. Ryan shot him with silver. I liked Chris. Uh, Laura shot Constance's face off in a struggle for the gun. Oh, man. This is gruesome. Kaylee Hackett. Uh, Chris Hackett's daughter Kaylee was shot and killed by Laura, who mistook her for Werewolf Chris. Uh, Abigail met her demise when Nick tore her head off from her body. Yeah, that was unnecessary. Uh, having successfully avoided infection, Jacob was freed from the Hackett's basement and survived the night. Nick, Nick survived the night, and when Laura killed Silas, Nick's werewolf curse was lifted. So two characters that I really wasn't Max fond of. swam back to the mainland where a hungry Caleb was waiting for him. Aww. Told ya. Dylan was slaughtered by a savage Caleb just before morning. Aww. Here it is. Kaylee froze to death in the freezer when nobody came to free her in the morning. Aww. <laughs> Caitlin. Uh, Caleb Hackett returned to his human form permanently when Silas was killed. Huh. Travis was beheaded by Silas after the white wolf attacked the car. Yep. Yep. Ryan died when Silas attacked Travis's car, causing a fatal crash. Aww. And Laura's dead too. Laura was killed by Silas when he attacked the car. However, with her final breaths, she shot him dead with a silver shell. Silas the dog boy was shot dead by Laura. The curse of Hackett's quarry is broken. This is depressing. We left only two people alive. This is depressing. I don't count Bobby and the dad, grandpa, dad character. <sighs> I want to play this again. <laughs> we did it, Allie. We failed. I'm going to butterfly effect this, and I'm going to just keep playing till I get the outcome I like. Where everyone survives? No, I didn't say that would be Bodies the outcome. Bodies piled up after Summer Camp Massacre. Oh, it's the podcast Ryan listens to. I think it's metaphorical. I hope it's <laughs> what a good way to full credits. Not this Hackett's quarry. What was this like three months ago? Old news, dude. Yeah, internet time. Introductions first. We are bizarre yet bona fide, the podcast of the paranormal. Ugh. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life. We did it, Allie. It's events. over. And that's exactly So you want to play it again? Real life every day. Yeah, yeah, I kind of do. <laughs> Spiritual supernatural occurrences. See what happens if we choose better. I wish I would have been better when I played during recording. I feel like now I've, I, I'm ready. This is my warm up. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes. It's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. I feel like they're trying to. I, I feel like they're trying too hard to be like, this is how podcasts go, right? Yeah. <laughs> We're quirky. We'll prove it. I feel like they're putting a little bit too much of a uh, attempt on that. I mean, some podcasters are really annoying, but this is this is a real push. Why are you smiling? Stop it! They haven't even gotten to the topic yet. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. They haven't brought up there. What might a lot of your listeners not know about you? I don't know. I feel like I'm pretty open. 
Who do you know on the inside? The inside oh. where? Are they going to have Jacob on the podcast? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner Shut room. up. This is <laughs> this is annoying. Stop doing a podcast. Talk no about one's listening. Okay, no, just just talk about an anonymous donation. Uh, you know, we're not the only this is a lot of words for just, no points. They have not even talked about the massacre yet. They had to get their To be fair, we witnessed it. Open it. Anyone who I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh, I couldn't wait to open it. I could not listen to this. Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised since day one. I know this is just a bad little summary type of deal, but consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I, say I mean, that. I'm just glad we met my goal of ending this like I ended until dawn. Okay. Yeah. With only two people alive. Oh, no. We could have. It was so. We, if we could have just made two decisions differently. <laughs> I told you by the end game, every decision counts. Think about it. Those last two decisions that you and I did each killed two people. Mm -hmm. No. I, I killed three at the end. Yep. <laughs> so my total is. Six? I mean, I killed two people. You Minus killed six. six. Okay. If we want to throw Travis in there and not just main player characters. And the grandma then, too. That would bring you to the seven. I'm not counting negative characters. Okay. I don't care about the grandma and Travis. <laughs> so let's see. In order. Emma, Abigail, Max, Ryan, and Laura. You killed five. Do you not lock your doors? And then I killed Caitlin and Dylan. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? <laughs> so, that's where we went with that one. You, you, you think ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? Take a look. Yes. That's what it just said. I, I heard it, don't worry. Oh! Show me a picture of a dead body? They got the evidence from there. Whatever, they're finally sharing things. Honestly, I'm kind of cool skipping the credits if you are. Yeah, same. Okay, can we, like... See everything we got? Quote the raven. Never mind. Oh, okay. So I think if we were to play again, we would be able to see the paths we took that led to deaths. Oh. Or what is this? Because it says Caitlin and Dylan are here, but Dylan's still alive on it, I think. The tarot cards we found, we did not get all of them. There are a lot more tarot cards than I thought they were. there were in, like, general, not just, like, in this game. A lot of paths. Uh, okay, and these are the paths we can view. So we can view paths of the past. Oh, apparently, the game would have gone on a little bit longer for one more decision, apparently. Hmm. But it's probably if you were able to keep Travis alive. Right, right, and I actually see where they get to. And we're still missing clues, but I think I kind of pieced together the whole story pretty well. Actually, not even. I don't know fully what happened six years ago do at the circus. Think, do you think that if the cop guy would have survived, that he would have tried to turn around and blame one of us? No. No? No, I don't think so. Alright, I guess that's it. It's funny how now it does a close-up on the raven's face. <laughs> like, because everyone's dead. Yeah. Uh, you've unlocked the Death Rewind feature. This feature allows you three opportunities within a single playthrough of the quarry to reverse a playable character's death and try again to save them. Use your three lives wisely. Oh my. So if we played again, we could rewind an accidental death. Huh. They don't give it to you the first time. Yeah, they want you to, like, experience, experience it. Way. it. Uh, they experience want it to that hurt way, us. Uh, that first rabbit holes. Oh, is there a... I could just have randos online play this game with me? <laughs> that sounds funny. Hey, people on the Discord, you want to play the quarry? <laughs> <laughs> Bizarre yet bona fide. Hell no! <laughs> Listen to the podcast. Movie mode is just where we watch in order to, I guess, see the best ending and all the right decisions. We can do chapter select. So if anything, maybe from chapter select, can we just go? Let's let's just check something. Can we just take this file and go to where Emma died and start from there? We could try. I'm curious enough. I think we could. Do you remember what chapter Emma died in? Emma, wait. Missed the zip line. Ah, uh, go down. Trouble go down. in paradise. I think. Don't panic. Want to check it out for funsies? Yeah, it looked. It was probably. Don't panic. 
Do you want to stick with Couch? Uh, are you sure you wish to overwrite this save game? All progress for this playthrough will be lost and cannot be recovered. Uh, do we want to? I don't think I have a problem with that. Yeah, uh, we, we, I, we, we I finished don't care. it. Like, we finished it. We finished it. Everyone was alive before Emma, so I think "Don't Panic" is where it is. I say we go ahead and do it because I think we were already going to start a new game anyway. Okay. Just, just plus we got 15 minutes to kill. This episode ended early. Is that where you want? Oh. I, I, I think it's where Emma died. I was going to say, did you want to do that, or did you just want to go back to the freezer thing and see if we could replay oh. the last ten oh, minutes? Oh, we could have done that. That would have been better. That would have been the better option. Okay, let's see. It was, it, it was, I, I, I don't even know this is where Abby's it telling them what she saw. I think we went back a little too far. It was just... I think this is just the turn where I try to not kill Jacob by accidentally shooting him when we fight for the gun. Ah, uh, yeah. Try drawing. <laughs> drawing what? Can I fast forward a little bit? No. Robin attacked you. How do we use that rewind feature? I think maybe it activates if someone dies and we, it asks us if we want to or something. Yeah, Nick's freshly bit. It's gonna ask me if I want to press on his infection. Nick. Hey, buddy. <laughs> So if we uh, if we did shoot him, then would we have lost him? No, because it wasn't a silver gun. Oh. The hunter. And uh, people did confirm for me if we shot him, he would have ran off. Okay. And Abby would have lived. Okay. Like I guess they still feel the bullets and it hurts and it causes them to panic and right, run away. Right. But it doesn't actually like internally kill them. Okay. I guess it's just kind of like taking a really heavy punch to them. The dude was. It's angry. just a flesh wound. Yeah, when they found Bobby, Dylan's gonna suggest cutting it off. Abby, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. God, I haven't heard these voices in a minute. Oh. I think she was a bear. Full size bear would crush him. There's no way. I thought we don't get bears right. Bears stronger than werewolves confirmed. Oh god, Dylan has two hands. So wait, which werewolf was under the car? That must have been Caleb. It's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad. No. No, I will not. I feel like that was the right choice last time. Are we just going to find new ways to kill off our characters? <laughs> no. I honestly thought it would just start at the Emma part. So I hope we get to see if she lives. Why would we do that? I don't know, man. Look at that black stuff. <laughs> what what do you think it is? Do I look like a doctor? <laughs> Turns out he was right about cutting things off. Yes, he was. And he practiced what he preached. He did in fact practice what he preached. I wonder what would have happened if we didn't cut Dylan's hand off. He would have turned into a werewolf. This would have won differently. Honestly, I'm curious about that decision. How many playthroughs of this are there? I'm gonna call out because I know it's Jacob. Hey! You got a gun! And I know how to use it! Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I already called out last time. What if he just exudes <laughs> confidence. Be careful. I'm just not gonna fire because I know it's Jacob. I don't know where he's at. It was probably nothing. Yeah. No fun. reason to fire. <laughs> so what are your th full th thoughts on the game, Allie, now that we finished the whole thing? I like it. I think it, it's a pretty yeah, it's cool game. Uh, All right. I would... Uh, Compulsively play it again and again to get every <laughs> ending. Like, I already told you, I'm not gonna fire. Jacob, why don't you just say something? Surprise! Like, it's I not see Jacob a human body. Don't shoot, don't shoot. It's a werewolf, and this is how you're gonna die. <laughs> oh, I think that's where we could have accidentally shot Jacob oh, to kill him. Shit. Maybe not, we're okay. fighting over the gun. Is he okay? But still, I'm not gonna let Jacob take the gun. He had no use for it. He's, he's done nothing. He the whole he did time nothing was the naked whole in the woods by himself. <laughs> he, there was no reason for him to have this gun. He's yeah. been nothing but a hindrance to our characters. 
Jacob, where's Emma? Oh, fuck! Oh, Jesus Christ, um... <laughs> I, I left Emma on the island, and I told her I'd be right back. Ouch. Wait, the island? We didn't get that before. Yeah, why? I chose a different option for yeah. dialogue. I just thought I saw someone up there before. It was Max someone? before he was a werewolf. No, I, you know, yep. I, I don't know, it's, it's probably nothing. We didn't know I any of that yet. Yeah. Well, I think we're gonna head to the lodge. Also, why are you covered in what I hope is strawberry <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, um, uh, I'm pretty sure it's blood. It was this guy with, like, um, he had, like, a bottle. Thing. I don't know, dude, it's, like, a really long story. <laughs> I don't know why he poured it on us, honestly. That never came up as anything. Did, what did a master We sense? got chased by a werewolf earlier when we were playing as Jacob at one point, before we stepped in the bear trap, and it was still able to, like, see and chase us. But did it see us, or did it smell us? You get what I'm saying? It was chasing us, and I had prompts to run and avoid it and take shortcuts to get away from it. But it could have seen us or heard us. Maybe it at least masked the smell, maybe? I couldn't tell you. Or maybe Bobby just gets really into hunting and you were right. I think that might just be it. Something's not right. I don't know, I feel kind of bad for Bobby after all this. Yeah, you know what? We never learned what was up with the body at the bottom of the lake either. Hey, I need this, okay? It's not That's safe. That's true. Out there. We gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, alright? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. We, we kinda do. Piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. She's yeah, not even your girlfriend. Your girlfriend, dude. Get. And then I'll let him just do this again, because I liked this response. So what? And it's gonna give me the prompt to dodge his punch. Boom. Eh. <laughs> Jacob didn't help anybody. You're in a real mess here, guys. You're acting like pricks, both of you. Jacob, we're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ryan. Sorry. <laughs> this is bullshit. Horse. Horse. She's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. No, there's a werewolf on the island. with Captain Deliverance? Yes. Okay, there's probably another boat by the zip line. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. But you never get there. I legitimately don't think he ever finds Emma's dead body, and he legitimately never gets to the island. I don't at any point remember him going to the island throughout this game. Maybe if Emma lives, she'll find him. Oh, I really always wanted to see the part where these guys are like, so you, you took that car part? Yeah, I wanna... know. He never had to fuss up for that. All right, so this is where you had Emma lose. Do you want to try it again? Uh, sure. Gotcha. She starts filming like she's doing her own podcast. Oh, God, we have to listen to this again? Yep. Here's a riddle for you. Because, unfortunately, there's no fast-forward part. And is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark. I just want to see if we can actually get her to live and just continue from here. One thumb. One. Available. Huh. Huh. And it was here, on this strange, uninhabited island, that this brave young soul found herself. Of course, I can't hold Jacob too accountable because it's like, how would you ever expect werewolves? That's true. I suddenly found myself on a like strange, tiny a, a lot of blame can be placed on him for all of this. It was a bad decision. <laughs> but like. You couldn't have possibly expected it to go this wrong. Yeah, I mean, he didn't set fire to the circus. It's true. Yeah, I really wish we got to learn that part. That's gonna be a new phrase to me, for me. Like, honestly, I wonder how the game would play out if Abby was still alive. Like, remember, having all those characters alive means all those characters are still around to do things. Explore venting. You know what, fuck it. Let's do it. Like, where would Emma have gone after this? Has anybody played this through and had everybody live? Allie, absolutely. What if I went right? Yeah, we did go up the Which steps I last time, but what do you want to do? Do you want to change things up, or do you want to just try to get to the part where you died? No, because I think the whole goal was to get over the water to get away from the werewolf. Well, you were, you missed the zip line. Yeah, but if I don't miss the zip line... Yeah. 
So yeah. do you want to go up still, yeah. or do you want to check the path to the side? I think I still want to go up. From what I remember, the path to the side, I think, leads to another set of stairs. Okay. But it's up to you. He's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking Yeah. About it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why? Should we change it up? It's up to you. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get to see too much because the episode only has five minutes left. <laughs> right. Oh, look. Metaphor in the narrative, by mean of fork in the road. How fitting. No uh -huh. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? Let's continue on the path about your okay. stupid short Try dumb life. Try to give life. you guys some kind of different things to see here. Yeah. But we did choose the right chapter. I guarantee our first decision mistake was not at this chapter, but this is where our first death was. We're in it now, anyway. Well, and truly in the thick of it. Because you know what else? Oh god, now I have to listen to her rant more. For the next part of my life, you know? I should have known. She would have kept talking going up, I think. I don't remember. I know by the time I post this, Hackett's quarter will just be but a distant memory, and... You know, I'll have more clothes on. Make the most of all your opportunities, and yada yada yada. Probably not, just kidding. <laughs> I might have I less on, actually. <laughs> but you don't need to know about that. That's my life. Get out of my business. Confident person, but really? I'm just desperate to stay afloat. Oh, we did see this dialogue before. It was just a little different from the beginning part. She's gonna I feel like okay. this time was a little more genuine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was a little less genuine when she took the... High quote road. unquote high road. I know. It's kind of reversed. <laughs> that here. time she actually made it seem like she actually regretted like trying to push them together by kissing Nick. Yeah, and she was like actually kind of honest this time. And I think it just leads to another set of stairs. But who knows, we might find an entirely different way for her to die. This is actually kind of fun. Hmm. I feel like this is the first time I've been alone all summer. Oh. I kinda like it. I guess that kind of reinforces the whole Jacob thing. I know the plan was for him to come get me, but now that I'm by myself, I kind of like it. Sorry, Jacob, if you're watching. Nothing personal. Oof. It's a me thing. We're cool, right? Yeah, we're cool. And then Werewolf jumps down from the treehouse. What a thing to air. Actually, no, we're media. not cool, or it's better as a memory. Aggressive Maybe or reflective? Maybe in 50 years we'll bump into each other and be flooded with fond memories of that one amazing summer at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. Oh, that oh. spark that changed our lives forever. And we'll be like... Stupid teenage stuff, got it. Or whatever, and have crazy walker <laughs> sex. <laughs> hey, it could happen. Only time will tell, Jakey boy. And as they say, time makes fools of us all. Schmools. We will be the oldest, sexiest fools there ever were. <laughs> Until then, I gotta do my thing. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, Mr. Bobcat. So is this Keep all moving. getting posted on social media? I don't think it's live right now. Yeah. Alright, and there's the ladder. Hey, what's to your left, though? We didn't see that before. Because we didn't take this is path Is it before. a tarot card? It's a lit fire. Oh. That's still mm -hmm. warm. Like oh, here. that's the matchbook that Max found. Huh. Should have just gone to the motel. Yeah. Quoth clue. The Raven Nevermore. Cool. A new clue that we never saw before. A box of matches from the Harbinger Motel. A few matchsticks at. A few matchsticks have been burned, <laughs> have been snapped off, and there are marks on the striking surface. Metaphorical, never more, never more, never more. <laughs> <laughs> the metaphors, Allie, I just can't take them. And we're going to climb that ladder and have the whole werewolf debacle anyway. Ladder. Unless I let you go around, okay. I guess I got to do this one-handed, huh? Huh, dead on the ladder, falls off ladder and dies. <laughs> Allie. That didn't sound great. Oh my god, you're right. Oh, shit. Why? Girl, Be put careful. your phone in your bra. It's gonna give you prompts, you know it. Uh, just 
thought you should know. Wow, that really would have been her death. This actually is going to be a, how, a way she could have died. This falls on the same rock. They really it's not wanted the same her line. to fall out of rock. <laughs> Constructed in the year 1805. By a blindfolded man. 18 oh fuck. Finest rotting wood. I don't remember that one. This is new. That money to buy. A real Hackett vintage classic. Oh. Go Honey, get those bear sprays. This What's is how it went before. I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there. God, she's still going. Look, it seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. Here's where she finds the bear spray <laughs> and the uh, taser. Which we do take. But I don't recognize this. This is where we thought this is super creepy oh, to find here. God, it's already. Oh no. Is it coming she... back to you? We have a choice on our hands. How this happened before? Through someone else's belongings? Or do we open? It's Laura and uh, Max's stuff that they stole from yeah, the police station. Or do we die a horrible, painful death? Girl, you don't even know! Open trap door or search bag. That's what you did last that time, is. and it was beneficial. And Heck know, yeah! I'm putting I want that bear spray. This is all you're getting. Points camera down. <laughs> oh, that's why Max didn't have clothes, because Emma stole them from us searching the bag. Yep. She could have taken the girl clothes. Why didn't she take Laura's clothes? So now it would just have been funny if Max and Emma met. Honestly, okay, so keeping Abby and Emma alive might have changed what Caleb was doing, so that maybe Max would have survived swimming back from the island. Yeah. Because there's a lot of stuff that could have changed. Like, keeping characters alive, Allie, really could have changed a lot of things. Like, maybe Caitlin and Dylan would have never even gone to the junkyard. Too bad we couldn't stop her from doing this. Yeah. Use bear spray, use taser. Oh, what did oh I you do used last the taser time? last time. But the bear spray works pretty well too. Oh, the tape the taser worked better. Because last time when you used a taser, you were able to take a picture of the werewolf for evidence. Oh boy. Don't miss it. You missed a lot of these last time. It Max, gave me stop. a chance. X, rapidly. There we go. Look Channel the power of Holly Quick Thumbs. That I've wasn't, gotten so much better. That wasn't the zipline you missed, though. Oh, no. Alright, use your taser. Oh, or the spray again. The spray's probably empty now if you were to use it. So it's a good thing you ran. You probably would have used the spray and it would have been oh, empty. I've improved. <laughs> Get ready. Girl, you better block that door or something. I think that's the option you're going to get next. To block or run, and I think blocking worked for you last time. But I don't remember specifically. Yeah, I definitely think it was blocking the door. Although that window's wide open, oh. I just thought about that. Yeah, I don't think you blocked last time. Uh, use the... Uh... Oh, you're out of the bear spray. Yeah, you probably actually did just run last time. Oh, here we go. Either way, it looks like you're okay. X, rapidly. Because it looks like the game's a little more forgiving right now, because it's yeah, still only it chapter is. four. Yeah, it is. It's giving me a lot of stuff to do, but, like, I feel like I have more room for error. Yeah. And then I think this is what you... Yeah. Girl, you better keep going. Right. Get to that zip line. Did Wait, we get is to see the zip line it? part? I don't think this was the right chapter. We chose the wrong chapter. Huh. All right, we got to end it there, unfortunately. Oh. Unfortunately, all we did was just not get the photo this time. I was having fun with it. A little <laughs> more experience really helps. I guess chapter five is the one we wanted to get and start with. Yeah. I, I thought it was chapter four. But anyway, Allie's down to continue it, but we're probably going to stop the series here and we'll just play it in our own time now. Yeah. Hope you guys join us next time. Love you. Mean it. Click. Bye. What's up, Allie? Any final thoughts?
That was fun. <laughs> I, I thought I would be having more of a heart attack by now, but it actually, I, I feel like it ended on a, I, it gave you a lot of the heart attack choices. Hmm. I wonder if this is the part where Dylan got his hand cut off. You want to try to not cut it off this time? We probably lose Dylan as a player character for a while, but he becomes a werewolf. Hmm. But he would pr probably, unless the werewolf just kills him, he would probably live. Well, the werewolf wouldn't kill him. I'm asking if we cut his hand off to stop the infection this time. Oh, and just let him become a werewolf? Yeah. We could do that, but what if he kills someone else? He might, but it also might guarantee he lives when we kill the Silas. Yeah, what the hell? Let's let him have Unless you hands. want one-handed Dylan more. Well, no, we got a lot of things to think about. Okay. We got a lot of options we can make if we we'll play see. again. We'll see. All right, I hope you guys join us for whatever series is next. Uh, that's already ending. I forgot we already said love you, mean it, click, so just hit subscribe. <laughs> I forgot where we were on the end card.